Okay, so this is getting started with C's mic. First thing you want to do is go and download it, okay, and I'll put the URL at the bottom of this video right now. Um, so once you download it, you install it on your desktop, obviously, you know, connect it to your Twitter accounts, your Facebook accounts, okay? Click on the gear down here. It's going to open up the window, and then right away you're on the accounts tab. And what you can do is, I've already added my Facebook and one Twitter account, okay? I'm actually going to add another one, okay? So what you do is you just enter a username um, of a Twitter account that you have. And I'm going to just add it. Password, I hope I know the password. Um, okay, when you add a Twitter account, you can actually choose a retweet format because when you retweet in C's mic, it's automatically going to put whatever text you want in there. Um, and you have a selection here, retweeting. This will show up at the end. So this little kind of um, number sign T, that's the actual tweet. Then you're going to see um, via tweet, you know, the username right here, okay? Um, or you can actually make your own, okay? So the thing that I do is I go like this, um, retweet please, because that's always nice to ask, and that's it, okay? So I save it that way. The limit on Twitter, if you don't know, is, is I think they capped it off at, at 100, I think. Uh, that may have changed, um, but you can basically, you know, automatically set the, the request usage to a certain level, okay? Um, let me see, I'll just say whatever, 60 is fine. Um, so I'm replies, I like to kind of get back to people quickly on stuff, especially if you're involved in a, you know, conversation. Uh, direct messages, I also like to do stuff on. So just, you know, general tweets, I, you know, I check those every now and then, but um, I'm pretty conversational, so I like to have those very quick. So, um, and then you save it. So I'm hoping that it will, okay, great. So that's saved it now. And now you'll notice that it actually shows up under accounts, okay? So that's how to add your account, Facebook is, Facebook will actually ask to, it'll do the Facebook connect thing. Now, and then you can select the users right up here. You want to be posting to Facebook, you just select that. It's going to pull up my little Facebook icon, okay? You want to be posting to this other account right here, you can do that, okay? Or you want to be posting to, you know, another Twitter account, all right? So that's how you add a your account, that's how you add multiple accounts. For folks who do, um, you know, like to connect on their Twitter to Facebook but want to be selective about it, you know, they want to post something to Twitter or, um, but not, and, and then occasionally post the same thing or repeat it on Facebook, there is an application in Facebook called Selective Twitter Application. It's actually called Selective Twitter Application. And that's where you can type something and then if you end it, <clears throat> whatever you tweet with an FB, it will automatically republish that into Facebook. So that's just a quick side tip. In terms of creating groups, there are two ways to create groups. One is based on users, like we discussed in the previous video. What you can do is to create these user lists, you just literally click on plus. Okay, so that means you're going to add a new user list. You name it test, okay, click on OK, and that's it, you're totally done. Now, when you want to add uh, users to a user list, and now again, this is a user list, it's not a search list, okay? So you go to the gear right here, okay, and then you click add to user list. Now, you go down here, you pick test, I'm going to add this to test, say OK, okay? And then that group is right over, it's right here, okay? So that's going to show that I have one user member, okay? You can edit your groups like this if you just click on the edit list settings. The other type of group on C's mic is actually based on search terms, which I think is really useful. 
the reason why I think it's useful is because if you want to um, connect with new people around a hashtag that you happen to discover or some kind of conversation, okay? For example, SobCon. I went to a conference a couple of weeks ago. I want to connect with people who are either, either they went to it or they, um, you know, they're interested in SobCon. And we go S-O-B-C-O-N, okay? By the way, if you're interested in hashtags and you're curious about what they are, just search hashtag in the search box on my blog and there'll be a couple of articles that come up that clearly define what they are and you know some recommendations on how to use them okay so all you do is put in the search term up here enter and then you have it down here okay um, so it's created and then what happens is that anybody who's using this hashtag is going to follow in on this uh, conversation right here okay Sabcon, 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 so forth. Okay? So now, how to move these groups around. Okay, so the way that you can think about it is that this is this is like a dresser, or this is the main section of C's mic. Okay? I think of it as like the dresser with a whole bunch of drawers right here. When you click on these, you're essentially opening up a drawer. The drawers are right here. Okay, that's how, that's how I think of it. I don't know if that makes any sense to people, but um, then if you want to close a drawer, you just click right here, closes it. I think of this as like the dresser, the main dresser. These are the drawers that you're kind of pulling out to look at people, okay? My first thing about this was like, what the heck? How do I get to my replies? Um, you can get to them right here. When you click on replies up here, what you'll get is you'll get replies to any of your Twitter accounts, okay? So right here, I have two Twitter accounts that I have loaded in here, okay? What you do is you click on the one account over here that you're interested in, um, and this is going to load the entire timeline, basically every, you know, all the friends, the entire timeline of everyone that, that is following you, that you're following on Twitter right here, okay? So we're not yet at, you know, the replies, direct messages. What happens is it actually shows up down at the bottom here. So this is where you're going to navigate right down here. Replies. So these are people that are replying to me. Okay. Um, and then we have direct messages right here. Boom. Richard, I haven't replied to, haven't replied to. Um, and then what you can do is once you're done replying to people, you can easily clear the column. It's going to clear the timeline. And then that way you keep things really clean. You don't have to um, worry about like, ooh, who did I reply to? Who did I not? Really easy to get organized here. Um, so that is how to get logged on to C's mic, get your Twitter accounts in there, get your Facebook account in there, and then create and organize groups. Um, again, very high level. And then in the next video, which is coming up, the very next one, um, what we're going to cover is we're going to actually get into a little bit deeper functionality on, you know, the, the tiny URL, taking pictures, shrinking text, um, and a few other settings within Seasmic that are that can make your life a lot easier. Okay.